EMF and resistance. A cell has two electrodes called the positive and the negative. There is a potential difference between positive and negative electrode. This potential difference is called electromotive force. Here you can see two electrodes, positive and negative, are immersed in an electrolytic solution. Dipped in the solution, the electrodes exchange charges with the electrolyte. The positive electrode has a potential difference V plus which is greater than zero and this potential difference is between itself and the electrolyte solution immediately adjacent to it marked A in the figure. Similarly, the negative electrode develops a negative potential relative to the electrolyte adjacent to it, marked as B in the figure. When there is no current, the electrolyte has the same potential difference between P and N as shown. This difference is called the electromotive force, abbreviated as EMF of the cell and is denoted by epsilon. Note that epsilon is actually a potential difference and not a force. The electromotive force is the potential difference across the points P and N in an open circuit. If current is flowing in the circuit, then potential difference between points P and N will be less than EMF. To understand the significance of EMF, consider a resistor R connected across the cell. A current I flows across R from C and D. The electrolyte through which a current flows has a finite resistance R called the internal resistance. Consider first the situation when R is finite so that I equals V by R is zero where V is the potential difference between P and N. Thus from the above calculation we can see that EMF is the potential difference between the positive and negative electrodes in an open circuit, that is, when no current is flowing through the cell. If, however, resistance is finite, current is not zero. In that case, the potential difference between P and N is as shown. Note the negative sign in the expression IR for the potential difference between A and B. This is because the current I flows from B to A in the electrolyte. We also observe that since V is the potential difference across R, we have from Ohm's law V equal to IR. Combining both equations, we get the following result.